Hello, BW Blanks and Sublation DTF Pen Create members. It's Dawn, and we are doing a product spotlight today. TGIF. I'm so glad it's Friday. It's been the longest week ever coming back from vacation for work. So, I wanted to spotlight the new sublimation jewelry boxes that Anna has, and these are super cute. I just got them in, and this design is from Bev with Stolen Grace, one of our featured designers. And I kind of copied one that Anna did. I just didn't put a background on it. But how cute is that? Life is short. Take a trip. Or take the trip. And these are cute to um, take on vacation with you. Put your jewelry in so it doesn't get all messed up. So it just opens up. It's black. It's got little places for rings and little compartments. A little pouch here. And you can put your necklaces here. These move in and out. And then it just zips up. And then we've got our little travel jewelry case. How cute is that? I love these. These are super cute. Like I guess I just got them in, so we're going to do one together. And um, what I did was just create a square 3.75 inches all the way around. And this design is from and Debbie, one of our uh, featured designers, Debbie does designs, and I thought this would be really cute, the little ocean with the um, pearls and the little starfish. So we're going to do this one, and I've got my Cascadia Pro Heat Press from P&W set at 385, and we're going to do 45 seconds, uh, medium type pressure, so you get your jewelry box. And then it's going to, this, your sublimation piece is separate. And then here's the jewelry box. So we're going to sublimate first, and then we're going to take this off. This is the sticky piece, and we're going to put it together. So like I said, all I did was create um, a square and then take a tumbler design and make it um, that size. So just thinking out the side of the box with your tumbler designs, and we're just going to put it on our square, make sure we get it right in the middle so we don't have any white spots around our edges. And try to line it up. And then I want to tape it down really good. I don't want it sh to shift. I don't want to get any ghosting. So I'm just going to tape down all four sides. Okay. So then we've got it taped down. I'm going to put my blowout paper, put my paper facing up, and put my blowout paper on top. Like I said, we're going at 385 for 45 seconds, medium pressure, and we're going to let it go for 45 seconds, and then we'll come back, take a look at it, and put it together. All right, our heat press is going off. Love my pullout drawer. This is one of my favorite things about the Cascadia Pro Heat Press is this pull-out drawer. Yeah, should be my gloves. It's a little hot. Oh, it's so pretty. Look at the colors on that. And I am using the new Cyclone 2.0 ink. Um, it just gives such pretty colors. Okay, so I'm going to let that cool off just for a minute. And then we're going to put it together. Together. So I'll be right back. Okay, so once it's cooled off, we're just going to take this piece off. And then we're going to get our sticky. So this is the sticky piece. And then we're going to just line it up and I'm going to zip it close just so it doesn't move. So we're just going to line it up and then just make sure you're putting it on the right way. Uh, the front. And it's pretty easy to line up because it's just a square. And then we're just going to Push it down all the way around. And then it just stays on there. It's not coming off. So 
the, it's 3M tape, so it is not coming off. So there is our beachy jewelry box, travel jewelry box. And like I said, these are on Anna's site, pnwblanksanna.com, or you can go to pnwsub.com, which will take, give you a link to Elena's site, uh, Elena's DTF site, and Anna's site. So super, super cute, our little travel jewelry boxes. So this is Bev with Soul and Grace, and this is Debbie with Debbie Does Designs. Thank you. Have a great weekend.